Richo, my job as a nutritionist is to listen to the roadblocks that people are having of having a healthy diet and then try and sort those out and help them and give them nice strategies to do it. Like you, you're in a rush, you're busy, you know? And that seems like there's a lot of people out there in the same way. And, you know, I'm not gonna heal all of them from that, so I need to get with the picture and give them strategies as well to do that. So I have a pressure cooker here, which is just pretty much splits all of your time cooking in half. Well, it splits a lot of cooking because I've done all the chopping, haven't I? Right, see, I just chat yeah, away. It's yeah, also like my that. strategy. I'm a yes. smart girl. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm just microplaning some garlic here. So we've got nice. the traditional base of garlic, onion and some ginger. So this right. is, of course, a carrot, ginger and the lentil soup. So it's great. It's got that lentil element in. Brilliant for vegans, vegetarians and meat eaters as well, when you fancy going a bit plant-based. And Ooh, because you're using the pressure cooker, it's going to cook really, really fast. That's the idea, really, isn't it? Really, really fast. So this isn't really a set and forget. You want to make sure you're around when the pressure cooker is on. But what it will do is it will mean that's taken care of what can I get up to now, which is brilliant, isn't it? I like that. Now, with the carrots, I'll just chop them sort of like this. Is that the size you want? Exactly, I yes. Like and you can... Like, we're doing carrot ones today, but you can really look in your fridge and go, what do I need to get rid of? Chuck it in the pressure cooker. And you've got a soup, and soups aren't complicated. There are no rules. You can make up whatever you want. Some bacon, duck, leftover T-bone steak in there. Look, you know, I'm not Couple anyone to judge. If that's what you're into, you and I know it is, <laughs> then go for it. Now, I have some turmeric here. I'm also going to add some black pepper a little later on as well, which is just going to help with the active ingredients coming out with this one so that you get all that brilliant anti-inflammatory medicinal properties, which is great, isn't I it? Like We're that. all a bit like inflamed. That. Now, I'm just going to put this one on for the first, just on a nice uh, low heat, because we're just going to sweat it off. You can just put it all in and go straight away, but we've got a bit of time here. So a bit of extra virgin olive oil just in the base, just like you would a normal pan. You can use butter if you wanted there. to, or you ghee, can use, or... Of course you can. Or coconut oil. So in we go with all that lovely flavour. Of course, those onions too. Oh, you are fast, aren't you? you Chopped are it all up there. I'll even clean up for you as oh, I'm going. Oh, thank you very much. In there with that onion. This is a really easy recipe. This oh, this is so easy. This is ridiculous. So a good thing as well, is if your kid's gone off to university or something as well, I get wish. them a pressure cooker. <laughs> They'll just quickly... They can just quickly, you know, learn how to make some stews, some soups, a bunch of different things in this pressure cooker. And then they can still go out and socialise and do all that sort of stuff. Great for freezing stuff as well, just batch cook. Right, in we and go. And it's a really big pot as well, so it's great for cooking large volumes as well. Really big pot. So in we go with the carrots there. That was about four carrots, about 500 grams. And I have one cup of lentils here as well. Of course, you can change that. You could have chickpeas, kidney beans, anything that you want, or meat as well, another protein. In another. we go with the lentils. <laughs> the, the other red protein, meat. I like <laughs> yeah, the other protein. And I've got two litres, about two and a half litres of stock, because we want to make sure that we get, when we're cooking in the pressure cooker, that we cook loads. Again, so we can save ourselves time. In we go. You can freeze it as well, which is brilliant, and bring it out when you want it. A nice, generous amount of Marova salt flakes and some cracked black pepper to help out that turmeric as well. Now, like I said, the pressure cooker is great because you can pretty much half your time, so that would naturally kind of be there for about 30 minutes, you know, on a nice slow heat. I'm actually going to crank it up, build that pressure, OK? And it will be about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll just show you. We'll put that lid on there really nice and secure, nice and tight. You want to make sure that everything is nice and safe around it. We'll crank that up, make sure we've got it on full pressure, set that timer for 15 minutes which is really only the amount of time that we can have a cup of tea or something together. And some biscuits. All right. Now, I can't stress this enough. You need to let all that steam out. Stay away from it. It's rather hot when it first comes out, but you need to let it out. It's so full of the hot heat. OK, and then... The lid comes off. Oh, look at that. Look at it's that. just like a normal soup. Treat it just like a normal pot. Beautiful. That's so steam coming up. In we go over here. Now, you don't have to blend it, but it's a nice thing to have a nice, um, smooth soup, I think. So, just with a nice soup blender. Simple as 
that. Oh, it smells good, doesn't it? It smells really good. It smells fantastic. There's nothing better than homemade soup, I think. It's a lovely thing to surprise someone with after a hard day's work or just stock up yourself with some goodness. You get so much nutrition into you. All blended up as well. And when you're not feeling well, there's nothing like yeah. a soup to, to make you feel warm again soup and make you feel therapy, good. therapy, isn't like it? it? So a nice, generous bowl. That is a very generous just bowl. Just there. And then, we're not finished yet. This is a vegan soup, so I've got a bit of coconut yoghurt there instead of kind of sour cream or creme fraiche. Some tamari uh, pepitas here too. Scoop that in there. That's it. It's just nice. And a bit of coriander there too. The only thing now is just to have a little try. I do like the coconut yoghurt. It's got a great flavour to it. It's um, it's really, really nice. It's going to go really well with this soup. Really good. Rosie, simple flavours. There's nothing over the top, nothing offensive in it at all. It actually has a beautiful sweetness to it. Yeah. I really, really enjoy the soup. Well done. Oh, thank you. Cheers.